Welcome back to the studio for Joy's Garage. Today is going to be part two of my Raspberry Pi adventure. That's right, 2020, lockdown, everybody's at home, might as well find a new project and learn something exciting. So on the last one, I built this Raspberry Pi, put the screen on it, whole enclosure, really cool, but it's put back apart because I need to put it on an operating system. What comes with it is Noobs, which is a very basic kind of setup for Linux. It's good, but it's basic. It's like Windows 95, if any of you guys remember that. It was good, it worked, as you can say, but there wasn't a lot of functionality to it. So with what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on Kali as my operating system. There's Ubuntu, there's Pop OS is another one. There's a whole bunch of them, but with Kali, you can get a lot of wireless features on it because they come with it. That's what they're built for is built for wireless and that kind of thing. So that is going to be the route I'm going to take. And how do you put it on? ISOs. In a nutshell, an ISO is going to be the entire operating system that you can flash onto the drive, the SD card, the micro one we put in, and it's going to up and run. So with Kali, all you have to do is download it, get it how you want it, save that ISO as a final finish, any problems, reflash that chip, and there you go. So let me show you how to put it on. It's super simple. All you need to do is Google it, Raspberry Pi and um, Cali, and you'll find it, flash it, and be good to go. So let's get to it. I'll walk you through the process and have some fun along the way. To download the Kali version of Linux, all we need to do is type Kali Raspberry Pi. And it instantly come up is going to be the Kali site. I definitely want to go with them because I know they have the good download. I'm not getting anything sneaky on me. And all I need to do is look for, let's see here, the ARM version. That's the one I'm going to want. And specifically, the Kali ARM images. Here, I can easily come down to the Raspberry, found, the Raspberry Pi Foundation, pick the version I want, which I want is Raspberry Pi 4, because that's what it came with. And as simple as that, you save it to your desktop. It's going to download it, take some time, and like said it's 994, it's going pretty quick. And from here, I'm going to transfer it over to my Windows. PC so I can burn it onto an SD card. So now that I got the Kali image downloaded on my Linux PC, transferred over on a USB drive to my PC or my Windows PC and into a good folder, I'm ready to write it to the actual Raspberry Pi's micro SD card and I'll have a functioning operating system. So I have the SD card entered, find that Kali in distribution that I um, downloaded and I'm just going to go over here to write. Am I sure? It's going to actually erase everything from it and then it's going to take it all onto it and put it onto it. So in about 15 seconds, we're almost there. I'm going to have a fully functioning Kali operating system on my Raspberry Pi. So there we go. We got Kali set up running on this Raspberry Pi. We're happy with it. We have all of our settings dialed in perfect. What we want to do now to save those settings and just to keep a fresh copy and a hard copy in case anything happens, you shut down and it didn't shut down properly or you corrupt the file, you install a bad software, whatever the reason is, we're going to take out the micro SD card, put it back into our USB dongle, and from here, we can write this perfect operating system that we're happy with back onto the PC. So when anything happens, it's going to be an ISO. And all we have to do is just like when we downloaded it from the Kali website, we have our copy that's personalized and just write it back to our Raspberry Pi. So let's do that, finish it up, and get this thing set to how we want it. So we're back to Win32 Disk Maker or Disk Imager. The device is still going to be the USB, but instead we're going to go back to our archives, 
I have Raspberry Pi. Advanced Pi is going to be my settings. And Revision 4 is going to be the next one for me. Actually, Revision Blank is what I'm going to call it because that's going to be the clean setting for Cali. I've already had 1, 2, 3. 3 is where I'm happy at now, but just in case, I'm going to keep it as blank and I'm going to read it. And all that's going to do is read those from the SD card and we'll have a fresh copy in case we have something goes wrong. And there we go. So from the start, we started out with our blank slate with the noobs Linux type of software. Very basic. We put Kali onto it. Easy download. Couple minutes. We flashed it onto the SD card because that's the next step to it. We're able to get it into the Raspberry Pi. It booted up fine. At that point, we got all of our settings perfect. And then we downloaded that SD card back as an ISO file or just, just the image. And that way, in case anything happens, you don't shut it down properly. If it shuts down, powers off before you want it to, whatever happens, a file gets corrupted, you install something that you didn't want installed on it. Whatever it is, you got a clean backup of exactly how you want it set up. So you can just reflash that micro SD card and boom, you're back and running. And you probably should even keep flashing it every once in a while if you tweak it. That's what I'm doing. As you saw, I have three revisions now. So it's a good practice and it's pretty fun and it's pretty useful too because who knows how many times you jacked up a PC and you're like, man, I got to reinstall Windows. With this, all you have to do is reflash that SD card. Boom, you're back up and running about 15 minutes. So hopefully you guys had some fun. I'm having fun. It's lockdown 2020. I'm putting it up there, just having some fun and I can look back at it 10, 15 years from now if YouTube even exists. And I can say, man, this is what I did when I was locked down in my house for two weeks. <laughs> so hopefully you're having fun too. But I mean it and I say it, but I really mean it straight from my heart. Please be safe. I say it. I want you to ride safe because, man, accidents hurt. I want you to drive safe because, again, accidents hurt. And seatbelts, they save lives. And please, <laughs> two wheels, motorcycle two wheels. Car, eh, two wheels. But keep at least two wheels on the road.